I'm working today on a painting of a great white heron that I saw down on the coast. He was in a tree late afternoon. He had his feathers all fluffed out. I loved the way these plumy feathers were all sticking out and that's what I'm going to add the last thing of the painting. But I can't add it now because these this color over here is a little too wet. I've just been working on it the last day or so. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and take back some of these leaves. They're entirely too busy and it's a little too 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 much going on. So I want to highlight some of the leaves and shadow most of them out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my Burnt Umber, Windsor Violet, and Viridian color in my background and knock these leaves back into the background. And in doing that, I want to also highlight the shadow of some of them. For instance, right under here, this might look better if it was showing the leaf above it. Same in here. You might want to just like add some twiggy looking shadows of twigs that were hanging overhead. Here's another place where you can make a shadow of the leaf above it. Whenever you do that, along where your darkest colors are, you want to put in your lightest highlight. Just to show a little bit of sunshine there. Just a little bit. And that's what I'll spend the next couple of hours with. It's taking out these shadows. And right up here, I also want to come up and show where he was turning his head. He was busy preening. And I want to show his movement. And so what I'll do is I'll lay my, my brightest highlight here. Add some of that white and then smear it with my finger just as though his head had sort of turned in the light. And 